Today, we are pond hopping, but we're only allowed to throw topwater lures. Topwater fishing is by far the most exciting way to catch a bass. We had a ton of ponds throughout the day and Tyler also caught two bass on one micro topwater lure. The whole day was full of non-stop topwater blow up action, so make sure you stick around until the end of the video. All right, boys, this is the top water only day of pond Ooh. fishing, 1v1v1 edition. So we got a bunch of top water baits in the back of the old golf cart. What you think about that, Flip? Dude, I'm looking at some intimidating lures. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I'm, I'm paired up with the big boys and we have a, you know, just a giant tiger fish. We got a rat, we got a, a bird lure. Uh, I think that's what that's supposed to be. Just a big top water bluegill, big walking bait, big plopper, snake. I mean, these are not your traditional baits by any means, but I think we can get the job done. But Tyler, what are you thinking, man? Uh, so as you can see, I got these little micro deals. I got a little micro frog. I got a little micro little popper here. And look at this little cute little wobble popper. Little, <laughs> little tiny. Little, 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 little mini. Popper. And uh, what is, whatever, whatever this guy is, little bug. It's a little, uh, little beetle. beetle. So, it's, so it's, it's a beetle. Japanese beetle lure, man. Now, I just got to say, there's no correlation whatsoever to the size of these baits to us. I just got to put that out there. <laughs> just got to <laughs> clarify that. And your boy's got the normal... Fish it, Fletcher, what is it? Oh, it's a wake it's bait. A wake bait. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Fletcher, what are you gonna crank bait? I crank bait. Con it? Connor's probably gonna be mad at me about yeah. that. Like, <laughs> you, you didn't even acknowledge the wake bait. So, guys, this is how this is gonna work. Fletcher, start with the big lures. I'm starting with the normal size. Your boy Tyler, start with the small ones. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fish with these for 30 minutes. He's gonna fish with those, and he's gonna fish with those for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna start switching up throughout the day. So that's gonna be the plan. And pretty much, we're only allowed to fish with topwater baits today. That's the go. And it is fall time, the fish will be eating. So we are ready to get it started. So let's go ahead and tie up and see what we can get going. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna get started with this giant walking bait. That's gonna be my bait of choice for this first little session. I think this should be able to get the job done. The fish should be chasing bait, and this just looks like a giant shad. So hopefully there's a big old boy that wants to slurp this down. So we got a bunch of different options here. We have a walking bait, we have a frog, we have a popper. Something's telling me I really want to go with the popper, but at the end of the day, I have two mock patrollers here and we have a chrome one and we also have one that's black and white. So if it was more of a cloudy day, I'd probably go with this one. But since it is sunny today, I think we're going to go with the chrome. So this is going to be our first bait. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the mock baits, discount code will be down below with the website link. Let's go ahead and tie this puppy up and start casting. Since Noah's like second option was the popper, I think uh, I think I'm just I'm gonna go with the popper. <laughs> There's like some freaking glue stuck in the little like little eye hole here, so I think you're trying to stab. I was wondering me. why you're grabbing that that patroller over there. I was like, <laughs> that I was doesn't like, count. Think, I was like, do you think those are scissors or are you just delusional right now? I just now? had to pop it through the little <laughs> hole here. There was it was it, the hole was plugged up, guys. The I hole was plugged. The <laughs> I'm trying to pull a fast one. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, well I'm already rigged up Fletcher you got big mac daddy I think it. I think you're gonna get one on that you gotta but. wait for Tyler and start the oh timer. that's true that's true we do gotta start the timer I was like, you're, you're starting with I'm getting stuff. excited Fletch it's been a while since the top water days you know I'm it was a hot up. summer Dude, this fall weather has got me feeling good hopefully the fish are feeling as good as I am right now. <laughs> feeling loose. Mama, I'm feeling loose all right, boys, we're all tied up. I got the patroller. Tyler's got the, the got mini the, <laughs> the mini mock popper. And then Fletcher's got big old Bat Mac Daddy over here. Mac Daddy, the, the Magnum. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to catch a big one. But we got 30 minutes on the clock. Let's go ahead and get it started right now. And before we start fishing, guys, I actually have this patroller paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports me in the brand. All right, boys, Fletcher's starting down this bank, as you can tell, his big top water. So we're gonna walk down just a little bit more. So one thing about this bank that I like right now, it's got a good bit of wind pushing right up against this bank. And also there's a good bit of cover. You got a bunch of lay downs here on the bank where they actually cut down some trees. So this should be a prime spot for some of these bass to be staging up at. Our biggest thing with this patroller is we usually smoke them on this, but the one thing that you got to figure out when fishing this is how you're going to work the bait. So we're going to play around with various retrieves. We're going to steady retrieve it just like I'm throwing it right here. 
we might uh, kind of pop it in the middle to give it some sporadic movement. But that's kind of the game plan. Figuring out how they're going to eat this bait, and I think we're going to catch them pretty good. This thing's really tiny. It's really small. It's really puny. Uh, but I, I feel like we can catch a fish on it, no problem. There's some sticks over here I really like. I kind of want to throw around them little sticks. But I really want to get on a fish before Fletcher and Noah so I can just put on that you know, intimidation. Get them intimidated, get them scared, get them like trembling in their, in their boots over there, their fishing boots. We're gonna run this way. Look at all like just saucy for some bassies right here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <gasps> okay, we good, we good, we good. And we're just gonna work our popper nice and slow, gentle little pops. Cause this is a, this is a little tiny little bait. We gotta work it very gently here. We got the whole spinning reel set up too. You know, I'm not a huge fan of a spinning reel, but we're, we're, we're gonna make it work guys i promise gosh this looks so good guys should be some fish in this area i'm making good short compact cast i'm trying to get a little too ahead of myself and bombing them quite yet making those good short casts hitting this cover really good on this bank just slow and steady retrieve the color of this bait is just perfect for today a good rolling thumb is i always throw the chrome on a sunny day. I can't even believe I haven't got a nibble down this bank. It, it just looks way too good. It might be telling us something. Either they do not want top water today or they're just not on the bank. And I really think they're just not on the bank. I think we would have saw a boil or something. I mean, we were getting bites in the heat of the summer on top water still. No reason for them to not eat it right now. We're gonna start changing up our approach now. We're gonna start throwing a little more off the bank. We're also gonna be paying attention to our surroundings today. Any bait flicker, any bait pops, that can key us into the right areas where these fish are setting. It could be running a good bit today too. I would just think with the sun out that they would be hunkered down in some of this cover, but maybe not. Maybe they're just moving around eating bait. All right, boys, make a little pit stop. We're hoping we can find some fish here. Dude, this looks so good. Oh my god, I thought that was a snake, bro. Snake? No, no, it's just a rope, but dude, I, I about spazzed. I'm, I'm I'm in a weird spot, dude. This bank's so deep. I did get slammed though. I don't even know. Like he destroyed it, just never had it. And then uh, you see that thing that looks like a snake? Yeah, dude. Dude, I, I, I like went to walk forward and I was like, oh my god. It's kind of hard to stand on the bank, but it was right where you're at, right there. What if I catch this fish? What are you gonna do? Dude, listen, I'll congratulate you. I'll congratulate you, sir. Don't worry, Tyler. It's all about technique, not the size. Come on now, dog. It's all about how you wiggle it. Come on, man. Let me tell you, I know how to wiggle it. A few moments later. All right, you ready? I'd say we keep going. At least we got a bite. We got something. All righty, y'all. I got the little froggy tied on now. I'm not sure if I like it for this pond, but you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it is. Hmm. Let's just go on that way. We're just gonna work the little froggy nice and slow. I mean fast, I mean slow. Hey, there's actually a lot of movement over here, bro. I've seen a lot of, yeah, I see a lot of movement in this corner. Hopefully this is it. Here's the strat, y'all. We fish it around the dock that Noah's fishing. <laughs> Dude, I was like, what is that? I thought that was a bait fish flickering at the top. Dude, I'm I'm anticipating that bite like you cannot cannot believe. I'm telling you, when you get bit on that, it's gonna be a freaking monster. One of those where he comes full body out of the water and just crushes it. That's all I was telling these people earlier, dude. When I get a bite on this thing, there ain't no playing around biting this bait. It's gonna come out swinging. I mean, you think I, I should have a blow up as big as his, right? <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Probably. You can think that. <laughs> you, you can think that. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, when he gets bit, we're going to see a full body five plus pounder come out of the water. More than likely. And yours might be like 0.5, you know? No one's going to know I got a bite until I get it to the bank. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, Tyler, you got one? <laughs> All right, boys, I'm feeling the spot right here. Feel it. Right there. Gosh. Like, how could there not be a fish on that stump? You know what I mean? 
looks so good man got some shade you got a cypress tree and that's a big one that's a big one right there that is a good fish come on baby get up here let's go started off with a three pounder and a little high two pounder but geez did he slam that thing for us not to get any bites then have one almost three pounds destroy it like that man that spot looked good who my heart is racing and that is a start in today's video holy cow what a beautiful fish not a giant by any means but he ate it like a giant there we go boys fish number one for our top water video thank you baby i'm throwing micro fletcher's throwing mega and uh noah's throwing like regular size and he gets munched first makes sense you know they want the regular fishing lures so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to throw my whopper plopper it makes the most sense fletcher eyes got cranked boy you find yourself a little nibble yeah i got a it's like a probably two and a half two and three quarter did he come off that little grass patch he didn't come off the patch he came off in the middle between the cypress tree and that dude he destroyed it fletcher like Clobber. i hope that's what's gonna happen today hammered hammered right there oh stay down stay down let's see how big she is she crushed that though oh my gosh on the mag dog come on in here oh no 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 <laughs> probably like two and a half not a giant but she crushed it she came off right as i was trying to flip her Dude, she crushed it though. Just falling behind Noah at this point. We got big whopper plopper. We got junior whopper plopper. Let's see if uh, if junior can live up to his daddy here. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Money spot. Oh, I thought that bird was about to eat my bait. Any luck? Nothing. Nothing? Just that bite. You see that? You see that school? Is that bass? Oh, dude, that thing's huge. You see that school? Yeah, yeah. Bro, no way, dude. Tyler. Ain't no way. Oh, Tyler, those are big bass. Oh, dude. Tyler, those are huge bass. Oh, they're Tyler is huge. Oh, my gosh. You can get go up. down on the bank. Go, go down. Dude, One just went up on it. Bro, those He's were huge there. bass. There, yeah, there. you see him on the right? He's on the yeah. tree. That's like a five pounder. Oh, look at him. <gasps> you got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, you my gosh, him. dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Dude, oh my gosh. they're following you. Dude, We're... throw your bait in the school. I Hold can on, catch two. I got two, dude. Oh, I you got, got two. two. I got two. I got two. Dude. Oh my gosh. Should I flip them or what should I do? Should I run out of the bank? I, I would, oh gosh. You, oh my gosh. Oh, they... You have two fish. You, you gotta go. Oh. I gotta go. Oh, but I, oh gosh. This way, this way. Okay, okay, okay. okay go Here. around me. Oh my gosh, dude. Even... Dude, there's like a whole school of them. I got freaking two. I'm just dragging these fish to the bank. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, yo. Look at this so insane hold up hold up hold up oh my gosh okay i'm running down there i'm running down there oh my gosh i couldn't go the other way because of all those trees it would have gotten snagged in the trees oh my gosh check this out y'all holy cow i guess the tiny lure catches <laughs> catches a lot of fish Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. Boys, I think those fish are spooked. There was a, there was one really big one. That was the initial bite he got was the big fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how they just said hold it up and he held both the fish up. <laughs> that is insane. Bro, they're good fish too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Fletcher's bringing pliers for us. Okay, do me a favor, hold this fish down just so he don't flop. Which one, both of them or? Just this one. Okay. Oh yeah, they are very pretty good. Yeah, dude, dragging them. Oh, there we go, dang. I should be able to get it. Okay, that's one. Oh. Boom, look at hold that. Hold on, dude, We. I'm gonna get this out and you're gonna take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> this deserves a picture. Yeah, dude. I love how those people were like, hold up the fish, oh, and you held fish. up two. That's so funny. <laughs> the sad part is the big, these aren't even the big ones, dude. I saw like two that were like at least four to five pounds. Giants. Oh yeah. my gosh, bro. Oh, Here, let's I got go. you. 
I got you, dog. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Tyler, hold him up. <laughs> On the mini plop, too. That look at this. Look at thing. how tiny it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. One had the front hook, one had the back hook. On the mini plop. It's crazy. A double up. What in the world? Shit. Good job, dude. All right, get him back in the water. Yes, sir, dude. Yes, sir. Let's see. There goes buddy number one and buddy number two. Oh, they're good. They're oh, fun. yeah, dude. Where's the. Oh. Oh, he's right there. Buddy number two. Come on. Go. He go. Goes. There he goes. Go. Trying. There, there he goes. goes. Dude, that Dude, was the craziest go. thing I've ever seen. They're all schooled up, but it's weird because you think they'd be chasing bait or they're just roaming, dude. Well, guys, I did not expect to come out today and have one of us catch two on one bait, let alone it was a mini plopper, and two it was a school of fish that we saw because we were staying on the bridge. And you walked them all the way down and they <laughs> stayed on. I, I just can't believe that whole thing. On. Everything about that was just crazy. Dude, I missed them the first time and it broke the whole school up. But there was like two that were like stragglers and they stayed back. I'll tell you, you played it perfect too because after you missed them, because when you're at a top angle, it's so hard to hook them. So you like waited to hook them almost like it was a dang worm. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. All right, boys, we made it to a new spot and it is time to switch baits. Another 30 minutes on the clock starts now. I'm going to the small. Tyler's going to the big, total polar opposite. Fletcher's throwing <laughs> the uh, regular size bait. So I got to see my options over here to figure out what I want to pick out. Yeah, I'm going to throw the uh, Connor the special. Connor special, dude. We're going to go with a little wake bait. Connor's going to be proud of me. Oh, what the snake lure? Oh, dang. This counts as the big lures, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, oh. That's, that's in the category. Let's get it. We're going the old slithery, slithery boy. Dude, are you sure you don't <laughs> want to throw the big tiger fish? Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go with the micro frog, man. It's awfully Ooh. enticing. A little micro frog action. We're going to try it. If I don't get any bites on it, I'm going to switch up to probably the mock popper. Dude, no, you should go on a commando mission back in the woods back there. Commando? I, I'm gonna, okay, this is my deal. I'm gonna try the shade line. If it don't work, then I might have to go commando. Hold on, dude. You can't just be starting before we're all rigged up. Yeah, that ain't fair, man. Good, no, you gotta wait, no, bro. The timer, the time? time starts when we're all rigged up. Yeah, I'm about to cut my tag. If we gotta be even Steven here. <laughs> I'm on, I've been on the struggle bus with the big boy. Well, the micro baits obviously catch the biggest fish, so, or, or the craziest <laughs> bites. All right, boys, we ready? 30 minutes on the clock starts now, Sunny D. I'm ready for the micro action. Then boys, I'm gonna move on to the big bait after this. So I'm kind of excited about that. Gotta leave a little suspense for y'all. I know you guys probably wanna see me fish with that puppy. Look at this little shade line though. Micro frog in the shade line. See what a little slithery snake looks like. Oh, it looks good. It looks real snaky. I like it. I need some of that eye of the tiger energy that these golfers got. These golfers just came up and up on the tee right as we got to this pond, they're blaring eye of the tiger. They're like, come on, give me that eye of the tiger energy. Just smashes one right down the fairway. I'm going on a covert mission, boys. I'll let these these guys, you know, tend to the, the path, more travel. I'm going on a covert mission. Back in the forest over here, this little little hidden trail. Dude, dude, did you see that? Bro, the craziest blow up Fletch. Oh my God, guys, that was a giant. That was a freaking giant. We're gonna throw back in there. He totally missed it, man. Just completely missed that bait. All right, guys. We we ain't got we ain't got no time to waste here. Nose getting nibbles, and I need to slide back into this little saucy spot. You switching big lures? Yes, sir. We've caught fish on every waffle plopper, dude, except for the jumbo. Dude, I'm going covert. I'll see y'all. Where are you going? Dude, on a mission, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go, guys. We made it back here. I've tried to catch a fish back here multiple times. I've had a lot of bites, have not successfully been able to hook one, but there's definitely fish in these trees. It's kind of hard to cast. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. First cast on the covert mission that actually got on the water. First one was a 
was a redo, but right when we got in there, we got a nibble. Check that out. I didn't even have to work that bad. I just kind of let it sit there, hoping something would come up and crush it because there wasn't really a whole lot of room to work the thing. How big was it, Fletcher? Uh, seven pounds. No seven pounder. No, <laughs> she's like, she's like probably uh, almost two. Oh, dang. I was about to say, dude, you had no reaction to a seven pounder. <laughs> dude, I'd be losing my marbles right now if I if I caught a seven pounder in this scenario. But that is our first fish of the day that we've officially caught. We missed that bigger one earlier, which kind of sucks, but we're on the board. Good to see us finally land a little fishy. Thank you for the bite there, bud. All right, we're on to something. We are on to something. Oh, no. Oh, we missed him. All right, boys. We are going deep in the forest. Come back here where Fletch is. I think this is, might be our best bet with this mini frog, honestly. Dude, you're coming to steal my tactics, bro. What you got, dude? I'm covert. I'm behind enemy lines. All right. Don't don't give away my position. All right, boys. Oh, we need to find a little crevice. This frog is not easy. I'm not gonna lie. That's how you gotta do it. Okay. Some professional work right here, son. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I was hoping for a fish on this mini frog in this pond, guys, but all I caught was that dang stick right there and a crazy bite. So let's head on to the next one. We are on pond number two with our medium sized baits. This seems like it's gonna be a good little juicy pond. Let's try this little angle right here down the side. All right, boys, we're gonna grab that plopper that's on the spinning rod real quick and give it a try. The old mini plop. Let's give her a shot. I'm actually gonna walk down to this other side too. Oh, there's a big bull to the right of me. That might be good luck. Come on now. Chase me down, fish. I'm ready to get blown up on. It has been a minute. We started off with a couple good bites and it's just been slow ever since. I had that good bite on the frog last pond. We're gonna walk over to this here corner because we got all of us like, you know, set up. Noah, middle, Fletcher that side. I'm gonna be on this side. It makes the most sense, you know? Right over in this corner. This bait is a little big, a little loud, it's a little noisy. Big bass, big bass, right in front of us. Right in front of us, big bass. Right here, right here. Oh my God, he's coming up to it. Oh my God, he's right under it. He is right under it. Oh my God, please. I cannot believe that. He seems so interested too. I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera. I was just about to move spots and then all of a sudden I saw him just stumble right up. I mean, right when I popped it, he totally turned his body. I'm starting to think I might've just should have reeled it in instead of slowing it down. And he's right there on the freaking bluegill. Oh, he's running away. No, he, he might've saw my shadow or something too. That was just bad timing, man. It seemed like good timing. He might have went in that pipe. He's just roaming around now. That is a good fish, though. I would not mind catching him. That is the size that I want. That would definitely be the biggest fish of the day. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Joel. We got one in the bush. In the bush. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. I threw it in the bush and he blew. Oh, there's two of them. Get it, get it, get it. There's like literally two of them. They were schooled up. Come on. Is he there? I'm gonna let this guy swim off. Maybe the second one will come around and eat it. Dang it, that was insane. Get up here. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I literally landed in the bush and he blew up on it as soon as it landed. That is crazy. And then another fish followed it out. Oh my gosh. Let's go on the walking bait. Look at that. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let's unhook this guy, get him back in the water. And uh, let's see if we can catch some more fish in this corner here. That's crazy. Nice. Look how fat this guy is. Dang. Throw him back. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. I landed like in that tree. That tree was in the water. I landed in the tree and he blew up in it under the tree. Oh, 
Oh, I see her. She's she's trying to chase bluegill right now. I see her right there. Oh <gasps> no, she was about to eat it and a different one ate it. Oh my gosh, no way. They got competitive, man. They got competitive on it. I was actually watching the fish. I didn't even see this one eat it, but that other fish was coming up to eat it and this one got it, but heck yeah, boys. I got one on the micro top water and that was sick right there. We might still be able to catch that big one. I'm telling you, I had my eyes on her. I wasn't even looking at my bait and then this one came up and ate it. Good thing we turned back around. I started to walk down this bank and uh, all of a sudden I had a second thought. I'm like, we know that big fish is there. Let's try for it. And then we had a different one eat us, so. These hooks are hard to get out with how small they are. Thank you for biting, baby. That is a fat one. That's like a one pound body, almost a two pound fish. Thank you, baby. Sorry for throwing that fish too. It is just not easy to fish right here. It's a big old steep hill. And comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think about that catch right there. Do you think that big one was actually just gonna come up and eat it? Or do you think he was getting competitive with that other fish and he just happened to see that one going after the bait, so he wanted it. But uh, I thought we were about to have another crazy scenario with two fish on this mini plop. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> All right, boys, we're at a new spot and we're switching up for the last round here. I'm gonna go with the big bait. Um, Mr. Fletch, daddy, go with the small bait. <laughs> yeah. And Tyler's got the uh, meat medium. I gotta figure out what I wanna use, man. I feel like the, the other baits are just absurd. I can risk it for the biscuit here and go with that big bluegill. I mean, I, I just feel like, bro, like this is a little out there. Ooh. You know? It's a little, it's a little sure. crazy. <laughs> you got the chick monk. You can do the bird. I can mean, do the bird. Yeah. This is a, this is a. Dude, I'm gonna, I wanna use my bets, bro. I'm going for a big right. counter. I, I am literally going for a freaking schlob, dude. <laughs> Tyler, do you wanna use the hundred year old medium sized lures? I've had so much experience with that lure. I'm kind of tired of it, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you sure you don't wanna throw it? Dude, man? I finally get a chance to throw normal sized lures. I ain't about to go crazy with the hundred year old lure, man. I ain't about to do it. I'm tempted to do the whopper plopper, but I did hey, just you catch do a one. Popper. You're right. Dude, no one's popper. Yeah, dude. Popper. Has no one caught anything on the top no. popper today? No. Dude, we haven't shown the popper any love. I'm about to throw it. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna throw this little mini plopper just because y'all been having too much fun with it, <laughs> and I'm gonna throw it for a little bit, and then we're gonna try the beetle to finish it off. So guys, this is technically a top water. If you're looking at it, like that's a swim bait. It is not. It looks like a swim bait, but it's not. If I get bit on this, guys, it's gonna be a dang video here. I mean, look at that thing, guys. I've never seen a bait that looks identical to a swim bait, but just stays up top. I mean, it resembles the bait fish in here perfectly. Yeah, if this thing gets schlopped, guys, it's gonna be something else. I'm gonna tell you right now. This bridge right here too, we've got a lot of fish on. We're not gonna talk about it. We won't talk about it. Please, please don't break that. <laughs> My longest standing lure. <laughs> like, Dude, the sad part is, is it came so close to missing it too. It was just, oh my god, it was a centimeter off. It was a beautiful cast. It just, it, a little too much, a little too much power. Big juicy mama, we getting revenge, boys. Just, just wait. Okay. Oh, you think you going? It's about to go down. Oh, what are you using wait. over there, dude? What? That's the big plopper, right? No! What? That's not the big plopper. That's, no, that's the big uh, plopper, dude. I mean. I don't know my calculations. That's just long, dude. <laughs> man, you've been trying to cheat over here, man. Uh, going. That, well, you guys said big plopper, and I'm like, I don't see one. That's the biggest one. I actually feel more confident with this one, bro. No, it's trying to cheat, dude. <laughs> hey, listen. I, I thought Link. No, we're going for math. Girth. Well, good luck. Good luck, young sir. Got some big plop action here. Dude, I just want to see an explosion like I've never seen before. I'm ready for the bite, Fletch. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. The fish are in the water, Noah. Listen, dude, I was fishing for a squirrel, okay? The fish aren't biting. That is not good. I didn't expect to cast Hello. it. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't expect to cast it a dang mile, dude. Keep in mind, Noah, 
a fan made that for Fletcher. I know. And put his blood, sweat, and tears in the crafting that lure, man. Listen, man, <laughs> well, I'm gonna put my blood, sweat, and tears to get this puppy back, okay? I believe in you. 2,000 years later. <laughs> <clears throat> I pulled that swim bait out to catch an eight pounder. I just pulled this plopper out to catch a dang 500 pound tree. <sighs> now we're at pond number 56, boys. My options are kind of slim since I broke off that plopper, dude. You know what, bro? Oh yeah, that's a the good The McBird, option. dude. I like the bird. Dude, I heard bird is the word. Bird <laughs> is the word. <laughs> Shout out to the man, John John. Hopefully we can catch one. It has been a just brutally tough day, but we are pushing through. We are not giving up. Dude, this just looks like a party out here. The amount of water that this thing kicks up is, is absurd. Bro, that looks like a gator trail. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That thing throws out some bubbles. White captain. What if I just eats the pine straw? The bird don't <laughs> care, bro. <laughs> the bird does not care. Look at him, dude. He just eats through it. He uses his arms and he punches it. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. So, like, so I. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Yeah. For like tournament. Right oh, there, dude. Right there. there right is. there. Right there. Oh that's my gosh. One. That's a nice one, that's dude. Nice one. Let's yeah. go, oh, day. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh, dude. Look at that, right? It, dude, that was so unexpected. We've seriously made probably between all three of us like 10 casts right here. <laughs> we just kept cycling through. I guess they just wanted uh, the regular size whopper plopper. Makes sense. Noah, got him. I yeah. got him, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, she's chunky. Heck yeah. She's like three pounds. Yeah, it's about three pounds. She got a little meat on the yeah. Good job, I heard the ball. That's yeah, crazy. dude, it's gnarly, oh, man. Thank you, girl. Yeah.